sometimes. There we go. That's why. So, hi, it's me, Denny Daniel of the Museum of Interesting Things, and I'm here with... Patrick. And me, Denny. Uh, and we're doing our pandemic show. That's why we're all wearing, like, crazy stuff. Uh, so, uh, Patrick went through the whole museum. It took him about a week. And now he's going to uh, now he's going to open up a new acquisition. I'm going to position this so you also see me because I'm going to open up some acquisitions too. There we go. So away we go. You okay. pick that one. Yeah. You have three more here. Which other one do you want to pick? Uh, I'll take this one. The top one. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I'll put it over there. And I'm going to open up two also. So you don't know what's in these. Uh, technically. technically they're all boxing. <laughs> I know. Once we open them, I know what I got. <laughs> I always try to open the biggest ones first. Too. Oh. Mm -hmm. what got there? Films. Oh, that's Castle cool. Film. So this is Castle Films Crocodile Thrills. Um, because we actually do a show with the, uh, with Eric, the lizard guy. And so for Eric, I picked up Crocodile Film, films by, uh, Castle. Castle, Eugene Castle was a big film director back in the early 1900s, early to mid 1900s. And he, it was like blockbuster video, Castle Films. Oh, wow. So he would do these edits of everything and, and um, and, you know, either show them or sell them most of the time or rent them. Uh, so this was a this was basically your uh, Netflix. <laughs> oh wow! Uh, that era. So there's a couple movies on there, maybe. There's uh, well, this is just one. Sometimes he had a couple, but most of the time it would be just one edit. And he often did like, um, uh, like Abbott and Costello full-length films, but he would cut them down to ten minutes. Got it. And his edits were really good. He was oh, a cool. great director. So sometimes these films were better than the original, you know, because it was short, quick, and fun. I don't think there's another one in there, right? No, that was this one. Okay, so go for the other one. And I'll tell you what I opened. I opened a box. <laughs> oh! This is really cool. This is a projector. Oh, wow. This is a special kind of projector. Uh, this is a Jam Handy projector. Jam Handy films, and here's a bit of a reel of one were these films that were done by Chevrolet. And they were often promotional for Chevrolet, but then they just started doing random stuff. So this is the actual projector that they would use. This is so cool. Have you ever seen it? How old is that? Uh, early to mid-1900s, like 1940s or 50s, probably 50s. And there it is. It says Jam Handy right on it. Damn. And I have a bunch of these Jam Handy films. They are the cheesiest thing in the world sometimes. I have one that's got Fred from I Love Lucy on it, <laughs> trying to buy a car, or buy a television. From the I actual mean, show or, or, or a different movie or show that you it's, it's, um, it's a Jam Handy film, but they knew he was on, he was doing the character, but they knew who, that he's from I Love Lucy. Right. So at one point, he's trying to show that the salesman is terrible at selling, and uh, at one point, he, they walk over to the television. He's trying to buy a television. And there's a picture of I Love Lucy on it. Hmm. And he goes, oh, do you know that show? And he goes, nah, never seen it before. <laughs> and he goes, oh, OK. Uh, I don't know. There's styrofoam here, which I don't want to be careful here. Yeah. Let me just, I'll put some right here. Oh, I know what that, now I see what that is. And you can put it, while you're doing that, I'll open this box. So I've got this big old white box here. You don't have to be too careful. I'll clean it up later. Just oh, up more, more. Uh, oh, Edison. Oh, you opened up a record. Excellent. And the names of the records were on the side here, believe it or not, because mm -hmm. there was nowhere else to put it. And let's get out some of them. Blech. Another song. Mm -hmm. Another song, but which one? Let's see. I'll try to read it. Oh, I'm wearing my glass. Okay, so... Keep your eye on the girly you like, you love. Keep your eye on the girly you love. Okay. So make sure to keep your eye <laughs> on the person you love. 
this is part of a love story that we're going to be doing. We're hoping to do a love story musical using Edison uh, cylinders. Mm. So I've been kind of preparing different records that I find funny. So this one is kind of cute and funny. I'm going to put it back in the box. Yeah. I think that's the only one in the box, right? Yes. Cool. So we'll put that over there. I'll make it look pretty little dish. And this is the last box to open. Here, I did most of it. Why don't we do it together? You sure, do the rest. sure. And then we'll just break it up. Over here, if you need some more cutting, hold on, hold on, oh my god, they packed this very well. Oh, that's very special. This is a Crystolian photo. Crystolian pictures are the earliest example of kind of pseudo color photography. It's not really color photography. What they did was they took a black and white picture. They scraped the back off, all the paper off the back. So now it's just kind of the emulsion or something. They pasted that to a concave plastic or glass. Mm. And then they hand painted it from the back. Oh. And then sealed it so that it looks like a color picture. But they're Crystallian. Wow. You know, have you heard of these Crystallian no. pictures? They're, it's such a cool concept. I, I picked up a few of them for our history of photography, but this is just a beautiful example of it. Very Victorian, because that's the era it's from, over 120 years ago. Mm. Yeah, like late that's 1800s, fantastic. early 1900s, before color photography. Yeah, it has this very kind of cool ghostly look to it. Yeah, that's a really nice one that we can see. Kind of the stars of our photography show. So, good bunch. Yeah. Yay. Good stuff. <laughs> and we'll say bye to the world. Bye, world. <laughs>